start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. Hey, I'm the Catholic Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is F1 2019, and this is episode one of the new career mode. It's going to be a Road to Glory series, and we are going to be riding for Williams Racing. And I guess that puts us into the Mercedes Driver Academy. Let's go ahead and start our career. So we're gonna pick up some functions. Let's see. No, I don't want one shot qualifying. Or is this for the... Oh, okay, no, that's, that's the F2 part. Wow, we are not doing level 20. Uh, but maybe we'll try level 80 for now. For me, sure. Full. Safety car. Assists. I can assist off, but I will keep analog brakes on. Manual gearbox. Last season I did no on the pit assist. I'm going to turn it on this time. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So we open this career with F2. Devin Butler, Lucas Weber, going to be a big part of this. The third event championship mechanical issue showing up. This is going to be kind of the background set. They're, they're doing a little, you know, like FIFA or NBA 2K19 in how they establish a bit of a storyline behind your racing career this time out. And it's neat. I've, I've seen some other YouTubers on how they've done it. And this will uh, prepare us and get us into it. So we're going to be racing for Dams Racing. Dams new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end. All right, so but you're very close to Kettle the finish. Yeah. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Yeah, Just are. do the best you can. We're all behind you. Hot into the Team first turn right away. Wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants oh, to pass you. All over the place. This car does not want to handle. Holy cow. Well, I let him by. And <laughs> came right across the track. <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and flash back on that one. By the way, I hate that corner. Right there. We'll pick up. 
pick it up. Uh... There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. I've heard that these F2 cars are very different compared to the F1 cars and how they drive, and I'm absolutely feeling that right now. That force just isn't quite there. There you go, way we're going past. So this is my second career mode here on F1, and it's the fourth edition of the F1 game that I've had in recent times, and I had a couple way back when, when I was a kid, back when uh, F1 wasn't even aired in the U.S. Last season was the first time, though, that I really gave... F1, you know, considerable playtime. I also picked up a wheel for the first time last season. So I'm on a Thrustmaster T150, which is pretty low key when it comes to uh, wheels. But it's not uh, top of the line by any, any means, it's very much a, a beginner's wheel. Yeah, not getting the block on that one. On the exit there. Too hot. Recovery though. After the initial first couple of corners. A lot more comfortable with the car now than I was initially. And putting in decent lap times with a car that's supposedly off pace right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. The breeze goes by. sure how that move was illegal on Gunther, but I guess it was the, the Vettel effect, not re-entering the track in a safe manner. <laughs> All he had to do was let Hamilton by, and they could race it out later. Just made it worse, I put myself out of the points. Oh, and I continue to go backwards. There goes Jack Aitken. Late breaking there, get that spot back at least. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Nah, I just pushed too hard. <laughs> hey, we have a chance to redeem ourselves here. There you go. Still up beside me, but... Oh, hello. That was my right rear he hit that time. Let's 
definitely lack the downforce that you get in the F1 cars. They just do not turn in as easy at all. There's definitely less pace. I mean, like that corner in an F1 car is going to be just about flat out. So here we are, final lap. Way too deep to the inside part of the apex already, but uh, I was trying to block off. Just about got the job done on that part. So, I'm a little more than a noob, basically, when it comes to sim racing. I've had experience over the years, but it's always been limited. And I've got a lot of room for growth. That's the whole purpose of this channel. I only managed ninth. That's actually a pretty poor finish. I took two flashbacks to do that. Uh, didn't help that I damaged my wing and that set it off even further. But the whole purpose of this series and this channel is to be not good or just okay or average out of game and become really good at it. But not just one game, 10 games. And a decathlon worth of games. As we can see, it's time for the podium. And I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win. Eventually, I want to go from to little to no flashbacks and just race on through. I'm going to try to lower the pressure a little bit. Last season, what I went for is every time I scored points, I increased the AI difficulty level. And I got up into the high 80s by the end of the series. And that was a little beyond where I was at. So I'm going to try to aim for about an 80 where I could drive a little bit easier. Get so comfortable, then, it's time to see get better, have some driving. success with it. It's a good 80's still hard, and that's still on Who expert. That's just now then, not the top, top tier. You say was your driver of the day? Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Alessio Lorandi. Very clean, very smooth. It can be really pleased with that one. Yeah, and here's Butler how things one. are shaping up in the team's championship. Carlin moved to the top of the table. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again. So Devin Butler takes the win on that one. My teammate gets up to fourth. I drop all the way to ninth. Gained no power on that one, so it wasn't entirely. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people Oof. talking about hey, it. Hey, we gotta work on that hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're all set over here. I'm gonna adjust some graphical settings on this uh, Remember, when I get a chance in between episodes. Very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. Emma and Claire. So Emma Claire back for year number two. To watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? Yeah, don't worry, the graphics won't be like this Let's next get your time. Perspective. I'll get that adjusted. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? I uh, see. Settling well. Yeah, I'll find the rhythm. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? It's right decision we're a team great well that's everything wow two questions that's always she's gonna give you the bang bang one two every time hey look I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how Teammate. I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. There's Butler. One in six. One in six makes the lead to F1. 
The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? Watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy, and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. He'll be my rival for a long time coming. Reaching the halfway point in the season. This introduction to F2, to the series, this story part of the mode, it's pretty quick, but it really sets up F1 well. Uh, and I like how it does that. And you can already see from the driving that I can develop a rhythm after a while, but still prone to make mistakes. And so, main point, and if you're wanting to stick with this channel, you're looking for growth, you're looking to see how you can do it. If you're already an expert, if you're already a diehard sim racer, you're looking at somebody like Arava or Broadband who are out there just logging thousands of hours. I'm not that guy and I'm never going to get to that point where I've got thousands of hours. with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. Butler just there was took just my wing no out. No way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Right. Right. Set me up. Don't give up. You're still in this race. Okay. This is a difficult turn in an F1 car. That's a really difficult turn for F2. You can still catch him. You can still beat him. So I'm in 11. This is one of my better tracks, so let's see if we can actually do something here with about five laps to go. Devon's currently in sixth place, P6. Much less worried about the gearbox than I would in an F1 car. So I gotta start thinking about that as I'm still kinda doing my upshifts a little early in a save your gearbox kind of format instead of qualifying push to the limit format. But we are gaining on the cars ahead of us here. Our gap behind is 4.0 seconds. But it's almost like going through Mirabeau where you gotta take that tight, 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 tight turn. Go through by the straight with DRS. Almost got into the back end of him there. Your full 
places down on Devon. Was. And I get the DRS here, again, because it's the same detection zone. You get it twice. And we finish the pass, we move up to P10. Breaking zone a little late there, looking down to see what kind of settings I have here. I don't have ERS management or anything like that, so. So we left Gunther behind, but we're still well behind with just a few laps to go. I might be able to get one more, but I don't think I'm going to get up to where Butler is. Luca Giotto, the next one ahead of me. And I'm getting closer, but it's definitely still a bit of a gap. Like to have been a little bit closer at the start of the lap. This means this lap's going to have to be focused on getting around Giotto. And that puts me right back into the position I was in that last race, as in P9. have the grip. These tires are providing good grip. I'm not getting any slippage coming out of the corners. Am I within a second yet? I'm five seconds clear on Guther now. <laughs> Didn't make it within one second. This is your final lap. Final lap. lap the race. Probably not going to make the pass now. Ooh, okay, we got within a second this time. Maybe. This is a dangerous place to try to make a move up here, though. too much speed coming in even though I was braking a little bit earlier with the DRS I was well off the pace as in too fast and couldn't get slowed down overshot the corner and that put me too far back so I might have made up a lot of ground and actually had a decent finish to this race not going to catch up to it
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good finish, but not quite there. I mean, I caught up to uh, the ninth and eighth place cars. Butler was the next one on the track, but couldn't quite make the moves fast enough to get up there. But still, decent run, decent run. Team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Lando well, Norris, the other Carlin driver besides Butler, takes the victory in this one. It was a spectacular race and a fantastic drive for Ronald Reagan. I think, though, that after the race, there's going to be a lot of eyes on Devon Butler regarding that collision. He's been very lucky today, in more than one way. Lucky to have walked away, lucky to have only received a penalty. It's a shame his rivals wasn't equally lucky today. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. So I've already heard that they are going to be updating to the 2019 now, F2 group at, at some stand. point. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who moves further ahead at the top of the tape. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Let's give it to Antonio Fuoco. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. And now a look at the team standings. There is also a strong showing from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you there. Take care. Right. So I managed to actually squeeze out three points because I did have the fast lap. I was a second and a half per lap faster than everybody else. Over a second a lap faster than Butler there down the stretch. But it still wasn't quite enough. I made my way back up the order. But we're progressing through this F2 season. Putting up a decent showing. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. It seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? Uh, go ahead and put that on the team. Doing a great so job of this back out there. The place back from Devon. Big gap. Just have to race I've to see what you do. I've seen that have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Yeah, incredible work of the entire team. We'll go with that one. Great. Definitely well, toward the uh, sportsmanship side. And even though I'm going into a Williams career, last year it said Williams favors the showmanship instead of the sportsmanship, which is odd based on the lineup that they have. Out outside of Lance Stroll of the previous couple of years, they've had a pretty hey, consistent Devin, group of drivers Devin, that are hey. sportsmen, what are you doing like George there? Russell. Seriously. I'm going to celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. And I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No. Someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happens, okay? I took my penalty. Focus, kept it smooth and came out on top. That's racing. I make it top. If you want to play race director? Then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, you still couldn't beat me even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end anyway. Chin up. <laughs> Faber's fuming there. Almost more than me.
So it looks like we're heading to Abu Dhabi for the season ending race. Last chance to make something happen. That second run was much better than the first, and the first one wasn't bad. But can I actually do something so here we are with the full Abu race? Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship, and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here, because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. Nice setup there. I actually like how they, they're using the real F2 announcers uh, in this one. So it's okay, nice that they got them on board it. for this. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good luck. Okay, uh, I should probably just go with the balance setup. Yeah, yeah. I'll just go with the balance setup. So this is the sprint race, and I think I'm going to be starting P8, which would mean that in the first race I would have been the winner because you get reverse order. Little wheel spin there. Had a really good start, but I was too hard down on the gas and got that wheel spin. Oh! Oh, come on. Really? Ready? We'll go from there. Ooh, I got sandwiched there. Luckily, I come out with no damage. Got another hit. I haven't been on Yas Marina for a while. It would take me a lap or two to get used to this. Right behind Vader now. Butler's in fourth. Oh, the downforce. Oh, I just, I've taken two collisions on that corner. Delatraz. I think Fuoku hit me as well. Be way off the pace here. That stop was okay. Now stay alert for threats around you. In between the chicanes, I'm still I'm getting on it a little too hard. Closing these guys back down in front of me, but I'm doing way too much fighting with the cars behind me right now. But I'm very much used to the Formula One car on this track and 
trying to start getting on the gas too early where I'm not quite, you know, nose in. Those last few turns were a lot better. You just you, you have to get on it yeah, later in the, the moment. in the F2 car. So you gotta be kind of past the past the apex a little bit before you can really get on it. Whoa, 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 oh, 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 come on. That was the very first time that I've had a lack of grip anywhere. Anywhere at all. Uh, let's go right here. You're four places down on Devon. Six lap race, lap number two. By the way, the AI, they worked a lot on the AI on kind of following lines. Like they're gonna, like breaking toe is not very easy. You move over, they'll move over. Second time, I started to lose the rear end a little bit. Wow, just on the brakes for a long time there. That really took a lot to get slowed down. Now I'm at least maintaining position, but if we're going to win a championship, maintaining position is not going to be enough, is it? Devin's in P4 at the moment. Boy. Yee-hoo! <laughs> well, a ride there. Nope, there it goes. Wasn't even pushing hard that time. Let's get all the way back here. Let right off a little. That was much better that time. Your four places down. Andy out. Much of a gap in front of me here. This isn't like Austria. Love how they got the F2 sounds right. It's a nice touch. Much better, but I'm starting to run out of time. Okay, we just set the fastest lap. I was 1.8 seconds faster than the previous lap. Down on Devon. 
slow. So actually, it could be a good thing. Delatraz gets by me. I could maybe get a tow because I have not had DRS at all, and that's been where I've been short. Except for he breaks that. Cross, you didn't give me that space, huh? Now it's really messed up my line. I'm sure you picked up a warning for that, but... I'm pretty much just kind of hold and serve. Actually, down that one spot now behind Delatraz here. Just kind of open, pick up a toe from him, but he's starting to pull away from me a little bit. So that lap was slow, three seconds off the pace of the last lap. Finally, lap five. I. Hit that a bit better. Much better here, but it's too little too late. Finally getting up to speed here without any practice laps or anything. A little late. But better late than never that I get on the pace, right? Can at least re overtake Delatraz. A bad exit there. Didn't get the traction. It's going to be hard to catch him now, but can we get him in the second DRS zone? Not, I'm not getting the traction that he's getting coming out of the corners. And that's the main reason why I'm off the pace here. Oh, he just parked it in the corner there.
At least I got P8 back. Finish where I started. Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. There were questions at the start of the season as to whether they could really go all the way, but there's no question anymore. What a special year it's been, and here they are, the new Formula 2 World Drivers Champion. That's gonna put a little more Impetus into my challenge going forward as he will be moving up to F1. I will be moving up to F1 and so will Weber. George Russell wins the race, the real S2 champion from last season. And to see it comes down to head to head battle for the line like this, well, this kind of thing doesn't happen very often. Deva's performance today has secured the championship and he has every right to be proud of them. I'm just happy I was here to watch it. It's too bad that I finally found the pace with about a lap and a half, two laps to go. Started taking a little more on the curbs. The first couple laps when I was taking the curbs, I was getting that oversteer and going around, so then I pulled myself off the curbs, which then slowed my lap times down. I just found later on when to get on the gas, as the setup was a little bit tricky there. World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? I'd probably go for Arjun Maidi. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in the pack, and he was good enough to take the opportunity. Where Dams have taken the team's championship title. They are this year's Formula 2 team champions. There is also a strong showing from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Well, at least we got the constructors. Something. All right, well, from here we're going to be moving on to F1, but that's going to be at the beginning of the next episode. That's going to wrap up this F2 short introduction at the first episode here of the F1 2019 career mode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Be sure to hit that like button if you want to tune in next time and follow this journey as I try to progress from a relative noob to try to become something a lot better than what I'm currently as a driver. Tune in next time and bye for now.